Okay. In our previous class, as we have learned uh, the definition related matrix or its types. Similarly, uh, today we will discuss on exercise that is 10.1. Ten point one. Here, in the first question, as you can see there, uh, there is the question given to you that define the following matrices that uh, I think you can define uh, such questions by yourself because I have given you and we have learned this all the definitions in our previous classes is it in the same way uh, leaving question number one that now uh, let's come to the question number two and in question number two, there is given us that determine the order of the following matrices. As you know, okay, let okay, let we may have a matrix. Uh, let we have a matrix suppose a is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. As you can see here, the matrix A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. From the given matrix, we need to find the suppose to find. To find the order of the given matrix, matrix A, we need to count the number of rows and columns. Is it? So, as you can uh, see here, there are two rows. The in the first row, uh, that row is started uh, with the letter A. In the same way, the, in the second row, that row is started with the letter D. So, your number of of row is equal to two. In the same way, number of column is equal to three because in the first column that is started with a in the second b and in the third c that's why by calculating these all we observe that there are two rows and three columns so that hence the order of the matrix A is what? 2 into 
two, and that would be written as a two into two. It means what? Oh, sorry. That you know. Sir, that two into three means. Ah, uh, that is. That represents the number of rows and the columns. It means what? While writing the order of the matrix, we should only consider or focus on the rows and column of the matrices. It is not necessary to write this all thing. Okay, you can do it. Directly also, okay, because this type of question may be given to you in your exam for short question only, not for the long questions. That's why, uh, suppose I uh, you have given in question number B. Let's uh, look question number B there, and in question number B there is given to you that. Sorry. Uh, yeah. What is that? Eight, eight, and two. While writing uh, or giving the order of the order pair, uh, sorry, matrix. For that, we suppose the name of the matrix, or without supposing, also we can write the order of the matrix. That's why we can. We can write here also like this here. Here, and now you can write the order. That is what there is only one rows, yes, but two columns. It means what one into two in this way directly. Okay, no need to describe the whole things, but. If you want to uh, write these all the things, okay, uh, to show your solution as better as you want, so that you can add these all thing here. Number of row is equal to one. In the same way, number of column is equal to two, and then after you can uh, give the answer. Okay, writing here hands. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Because of not giving the appropriate name of the given matrix, okay. But while uh, if there is given the name of the matrix, we can uh, denote it. Uh, we can denote the matrix by their name only. Okay, no need to write their elements. Is it? Yes, sir. Okay. In the same way, there in question number three, uh, you can see there uh, construct a matrix with the order a specified elements may be chosen. What is that? Randomly. Randomly. That means. Uh, there is not necessary to you all have the same answer for the question because here in the question you have given the order only okay and according to the order you 
can form your own matrix whatever you want to put the elements of your matrix suppose if we if we have given suppose b is equal to sorry uh, as a b base or as a order of b that is 2 into 3 okay on the condition while forming the while forming the matrix for b we can write directly as you wish okay but with this the row should must have of two columns or uh, twos and the column should have the three elements that is you can replace it with this one it may be the answer for your question where the b have the order 2 into 3 that is we have two rows and three columns in the same way you may write here 1 2 3 4 5 6 or in this way also it may be your it may be the answer of your questions okay it means what your answer would be different as per the different of your name okay can you form it or not yes sir जसरी हमी मेन ध्यान दिखने कुछ इसमें के भादा खेल अर्डर मत हमें ध्यान दिखने हाई यदि अर्डर जो अनुसार को दिखे अनुसार को यदि हम मान मैट्रिक्स बनाई रहने मैट्रिक्स में हम जे सुको अपने एलिमेंट्स रिप्लेस कर सकता हाई रही एलिमेंट्स हम रैंडमली हाई एक अर्थ हर एक में एलिमेंट्स हम यूज कर सकता रैंडमली हाई जैसे मान कि मैं यहाँ वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स यूज गए अरु में मैं मैं इस यूज कर जैसे थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हाई ठीक है नी रो न यूज कर तिमला इक्जाम में बनेर आक होते यू मे हेव गिवन सच क्वेश्चन्स एंड यू कैन मेक योर ओन मैट्रिसे बाय योर सेल्फ ओके सर 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 नंबर 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 में 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 रैंडमली रैंडमली दिया ये करने अनि सिक्स फोर लेखने मैं मैं तिमी मैट्रिक्स बना देखा बुझे मैं रैंडमली मैट्रिक्स तिमी बना देखा है यो अर्डर दिखे हाई अब मान ल ठीक है तिमी क्या भाई जस्ते हम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में हेन सकता तैं ए को अर्डर कति दिए वन इंटू टू दिए वन इंटू वन दिएट मीन्स वाट वी यूज देयर ओनली वन एलिमेंट आइदर मे दैट इज मे बी वन आइदर टू आइदर ए आइदर बी then how will you uh, use it randomly in uh, in others to if the question is given to you like this suppose 2 into 3 a mana hai kya 1 into 1 diyo to tyaha ta hamro euta matra ami use garyau ni euta element ana matra use bhayo a use bhayo athwa b use bhayo hai kei euta use bhayo hai thik cha yes sir tara कुने ठाव में हमें अब यो फर्मेशन दिखे यो को दिन सकता नहीं जहाँ के टू इंटू थ्री हो टू इंटू थ्री भोज के लिए हम मत ए यूज कर हमें साधे छेन नहीं अब सब में ए ए हम यूज कर साधे तो छेन कि हमें बी पे तो यूज कर मतलब कि हम तो रैंडमली तो आएन नहीं हो रैंडमली आए भादा खेल 
हमी सेम लेटर लरु नंबर को अरु फर्मेशन कर यूज कर इसमें हम ए यूज गये हम ए यूज कर ठीक है सीम्पल ये बुझ कि यो फर्मे यो क्वेश्चन दिए सीधे तिमी आपको इच्छा अनुसार एलिमेंट्स राखे क्वेश्चन बना सकता अथवा सब भाई राम तरीका चाहिए बुझी रख हाई जैसे फर्स्ट एलिमेंट हम ए इलेवेन भाई डिनोट कर फर्स्ट एलिमेंट हमी ए इलेवेन डिनोट करने सपोज हम कंडीशन को इक्वल टू दियो एज इक्वल टू दियो वन इंटू सपोज टू दिस मे बी योर क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर दिस वी कैन we can form a matrix for the given order like this that means we 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 should have the one rows okay that means rows should be one but the columns should be two that is you may let a and b 11 as the base okay yes, a 11 as the base and the lower part as b is it no there also we use sorry to l Hold a minute. And we should separate it in a bracket. Is it okay? यदि इस तो condition आरु दियो बने, हमें ये लाई randomly ये लाई हमें use करें कर सों, ये use boy हो, ये eleven boy हो, ये use boy हो, ये twelve boy हो, अब इस आह अब ये कंडीसन को लगी हम यहाँ ए टुवेल्व न भर हम फर्स्ट रो जो स्टार्ट होनी रख हाई हम फर्स्ट रो जो स्टार्ट हो हम एलेवेन देखि सुरू हो इलेवेन ए टुवेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेन्टीन रेस पीछे जो सेकेंड रो जो सुरू होने ये हम लोग पढ़ो सेकेंड रो में पढ़ो हाई सेकेंड रो जो सुरू हो सेकेंड रो बने हम के पढ़ने गर्थ त ट्वेंटी वन में पढ़ने गो ध्यान फर्स्ट रो हम ए इलेवेन देखि सुरू हो सेकेंड रो हम ए ट्वेंटी वन देखि सुरू हो थर्ड रो हम क्या देखि सुरू होने दिस इज द मेथड टू राइट द रो एंड कलम अफ मैट्रिक बुझ यो यो हम मैट्रिक्स लेखने एटा मेथड हो जहाँ कि हम हर एक मैट्रिक्स का फर्स्ट एलिमेंट अथवा बनाने फर्स्ट रो जो हो हम ए इलेवेन देखि सुरू भर ए थर्टीसम गए के इंड होने अर्क जो रो 
तो हम ए ट्वेंटी वन देखि सुरू भर ए सरी फर्स्ट हम इलेवेन देखि ट्वेंटी समय सेकेंड हम ए ट्वेंटी वन देखि थर्टी समय जाने गर्ची हम जो थर्ड रो जो हो हम ए थर्टी वन देखि फोर्टी समय गए हिंड होने गर्सन ठीक चंदन ठीक ठीक अगड़ी बुझ तिमी अलग जेनरल फर्मेशन तिमी हाई देन आफ्टर देयर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू स्टेट द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्रिक्स टाइप ऑफ स्टेट द टाइप ऑफ एंड ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्रिक्स सो विल यू टेल मी द टाइप ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स व्हाट टाइप ऑफ मैट्रिक्स इज दिस विल यू टेल मी अंबिका Will you tell me the type of the matrix yes. B? Yes, sir. What type of matrix is this? Column matrix. Azure. Column matrix. Yeah. We have rectangular matrix. Hmm. Zero matrix, square Azure. matrix. Okay, thank you. So, according to the type of matrix, will you tell me? The type of the B matrix. What type of the matrix uh, is B? Ramu. Hajur. You kun matrix boyo. You B jun matrix sa. I am saying you kun matrix sa. What is that? As we have learned, row matrix, column matrix, null matrix, unit matrix, is it? Uh, rectangular Red matrix rectangular. and a square matrix. So, which matrix is this? Rectangular matrix. Because here, the number is presenting us in the form of rectangle. Yeah, our rectangle just here. Now, our rectangle just like that. What's funny? Boy, hello. So cute, eh? Yeah, our rectangular matrix boy. And the row and the order of the matrix is what two into three, is it? Three. So will you uh, do question number one? Uh, sorry, four accordingly. Suppose you have given here. You have given in the first. That is six. Yes. You may have confusion to write the name of the matrix and order of the matrix. Is it so that what would be the order of the matrix? Will you write the order of the matrix? The matrix that I have written one given into one, one into one, yes. And if just remind only one thing: what if the matrix having the same row and column, is it? Such type of matrices are considered as row matrix, listen, square listen, matrix, listen, listen, square matrix, matrix, is it? A square matrix. That's why. Because uh, it has also the same order, uh, that means a uh, row and column that is one and one. It means what? Its order is one into one. That's why we can let it as square matrix, or 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 you can write uh, it's like this. How will you write it as order? It is a A square matrix with order one into one. Very good. One into one. So will you write like this? Yes, sir. I know there won't be any problem with you. 
if you do the matrix i think you have learned the uh, already in your class okay so in this way uh let's come to question number 5 here in question number 5 you can see there uh, we have given the question find the value of a b c and d from the following pair of equal matrices and as we learn about the equal matrix that 